Hey everybody, welcome to the Mind of Row page. Today I am going to talk to you guys about Pompa Jura. Pompa Jura is a spirit. She's actually a hot spirit, and this is my first video I'm making on a hot spirit. A lot of videos I make are in regards to Orishas and in regards to the Netaru. So this is going to be my first hot spirit, and for and in a little bit I'll explain to you what I mean when I say a hot spirit. So she is actually Umbanda or an, a Kumbanda spirit. She has the same energy and the power of a Loa spirit or Loa spirit, which are voodoo spirits. And she's associated with the colors red and black and the number seven. Or she's also associated with any numbers that could be times by three. So like three, six, nine. She's a spirit who tends to like to work in threes. She is an Eshu spirit. I made another post recently about who Eshu is. Eshu spirits are considered crossroad spirits, so she is a version of Eshu. She could be either seen as his wife or his girlfriend or just a female aspect of Eshu, which means she's associated with the crossroads, graveyards, and occult magic just as Eshu is as well. She's also associated with revenge, and that's why I was saying that she is a hot spirit. She is, has been created many many years ago by specific people to actually help them escape the slave trade and this is where she comes from and this is why she is a hot spirit and why she is usually typically summoned for protection when i say hot i mean temperamental she could be very temperamental and if you do not listen to her and do things as you as she asks you she could cause chaos in your life this is why you need to be really careful working with spirits like herself she likes high-end alcoholic beverages. When I say that, I mean top shelf vodka and champagne and sparkling wine. Anything that you could think of like a rich woman that lives on a yacht would like, that's her taste. Those are the type of beverages she likes to be offered to her. And she also likes high-end chocolates. I mean, the type of chocolates that you would give your woman on Valentine's Day. Or the type of chocolate chocolates you're going to want to give to Pompajira. Here's some chocolates right here that I gave to her. I also have kisses that are sitting there. Because kisses are, are known to be very, like, have a lot of love energy in it. Because... I'm not sure if, if every single one of you is really associated with the Arishas or not, but if you were to mix the energy of Eshu and the energy of, of Oshun, you would actually get a Pompajero type of energy because her energy is very sexual, she's very creative, and she's very loving, but she's temperamental at the same time. So what you could think about is when her energy is around, she's kind of like that crazy girlfriend who gets really, really jealous and angry and throws pants across the room. That's kind of what her energy is, but because she loves you so much. This is the type of energy and spirit that you would be invoking if you were to call on Pompajira for protection. So just be mindful of that. Why would you call on Pompajira? The two main reasons why you would call on her is she is actually known to be the protector spirit of those who live a lifestyle that is typically judged by society. For example, strippers, gays, and especially what I do. I, I tend to summon a lot of spirits, and a lot of people judge that. Therefore, for myself, she would be a type of spirit I would summon to protect me, and I would call on her to feed her on a regular basis to protect me from those who would try to stop me or get in my way of my, my spiritual path or, or send any judgment or hurt my way. She would protect me from that to make sure that does not happen. And whoever tries to send that type of energy, what she would do is reverse that energy back to them and if their heart is really really dark she tends to send a little bit more to them since hence the number three she's associated with as you see i have three glasses here so she could be so temperamental that she really feels like she she feels some energy of somebody attacking you in any way whether it's energetic physical emotionally she tends to work in threes which means she'll reserve it reverse that energy back three times and sometimes she's known to do things like cause chaos in someone's life and then she'll cool off, come back again, cause chaos, cool off and come back again because she does work in threes and she actually also likes offers in threes. As you notice, I have three different glasses of alcoholic beverages in front of her and around each one of my glasses, I have three different chocolates and I use and I did these offers on three different days. I just need to share some major warnings because 
there's a lot of information you can find on Pompajira, and a lot of the videos you will see is that if you summon Pompajira, especially for females, she's a great spirit to call on if you're a woman. Or if you want a woman to be protected, she tends to approach women a lot more. Or a gay man, and the, and the reason why is because she's attracted to feminine energy, because she is a feminine spirit. So she has a lot of confident energy. So if you're a woman and you need a lot of confidence in your life and you need to get that spunk in your step and you want to have that confidence to be able to do your makeup, lift up your tits and your bra and walk around your heels, but there's something in you that feels insecure and you feel ugly or whatever, so many Papa Jira is going to give you that confidence. You're going to feel sexy. You're going to feel awesome. That's why you would summon her. But no, you cannot just summon her for one thing because she comes as a whole spirit, that she is temperamental. And she would also be summoned why she was created in the first place. Actually, she was, she was created for protection and vengeance in the first place. So she has a lot of that vengeful energy. So the reason why someone would want to summon Pompajira is for protection. And I don't like to use the word vengeance. Let's use the word justice because she is also the type of spirit that will make sure justice happens. As long as you summon her, people will not be able to come after you. And if they do, she will make sure justice will be, con will be called upon them. So I did some research on Pompajira to to, just to kind of see what kind of stuff people are talking about online. And something that I noticed is a lot of times you're going to notice everybody talks about women summoning her for confidence. Yes, that is a plus. But this is something that people do not talk about, and I am going to tell you what you need to know about her, because she is very, very temperamental. And if you, let's say, for example, you summon Pompajira, and you ask her for protection, but you're hanging out with toxic people, but for some reason you love these toxic people, Papa Jira does not ask you for your permission of who she will or will not go after. This is a warning to you. If you call on any hot spirit like her, and this actually goes for all hot spirits and all lower spirits, they are all the same way. When I say lower spirits, I'm speaking of Vodun or Voodoo spirits. They're, most of them are basically the same. When you call any of the barren spirits or any of those type of warrior spirits, you're going to get the same kind of outcome. So... If you have these spirits in your home and you have an altar in your home, know that they will attack people who are energetically attacking you, even if you like that person. So let's say you were in a toxic relationship, but yet you don't want to leave that toxic relationship. And I don't mean just relationship romantically. I mean a relationship with certain people you hang out with in your group of friends that you associate yourself with, or maybe even people you work with. They will go after that person, and when I mean go after that person, I mean cause chaos in their life. They could cause them to get into an accident, like trip and fall over a sharp object, do something like accidentally cut themselves. Um, I don't want to say get in an art, um, accident or in a car accident because it's usually more like a goon work. But um, here's an example of something that happened the first time her energy was summoned down the street when her energy was very, very hot. This is the warning that you need to know because when you summon a spirit, you summon their energy and that energy will be wrapped around your home and in your area if you do not cool that area off first. This is what happened for my person. Sorry about that, guys. Somebody called me. So this is my experience from when I summoned her for the first time. There were two women outside across, on, at the crossroads, specifically at the crossroads because she represents crossroads, women screaming at each other and yelling at each other and fighting. And then the very next day after I summoned her energy, a gas station not too far from here, um, what was I saying? Right. So this is what happened when I, when I summoned her down the street. There was, I think it was like a 7-Eleven or something like that. Um, there were two women fighting in this gas station and one woman, she pepper sprayed this woman in the eyes and she would not stop pepper spraying her. This woman was screaming and squirming and she fell to the ground and she was squirming all over the ground. Sorry about that. So this person was squirming all over the ground because there was pepper spray in her eyes. So her son goes to run into the refrigerator. L let me remind you, this is inside of a store, 
publicly this is happening. He runs into the he runs into the refrigerator and grabs milk to throw milk on her eyes to walk to get the pepper spray out of her eyes. And she's squirming and screaming all over the ground with milk splashed all over the place. When this woman gets up on the ground, the milk was shaped as a heart. As you notice, I have hearts framed around this video and the reason why I do is because she's associated with hearts and how you know her energy is around us. You, she will leave certain things shaped as hearts near you. You will pass by a lot of maybe even shirts or trucks or anything that's that has to do with a red heart or a shape of a heart. That's how you know her energy is around. So this is something that you need to be very mindful of when you when you summon certain spirits like that. It would cause complete chaos. So, But it's around you. So this is the advice what you do. Like if you are somebody to spirit and you notice there's a lot of crazy people around your home, just and within the facility, because that energy is high around that time, what you would do is go to her altar and you're going to say, cool pompadura, cool pompadura, cool pompadura, cool pompadura, cool pompadura, cool streets, cool mind, cool home. And you splash the ground with water. And what you're doing, you're going to cool that energy down because you want her energy to only protect you and only give you um, a high sense of security and and, and um, confidence. You don't want her energy to control the whole neighborhood because her uh, lower spirits type of energy will do that, and you don't want that to happen. So that's just something to be mindful of. My personal experience with working with Pampajira is if you do not wear white, and if you do not wear, take a white bath working with spirits like this, you're, you, you will soak up their energy. And because her energy is kind of like that very jealous, impatient, angry kind of energy, if you do not clean your aura off when you're working with her, you will soak up her energy and you will start feeling agitated and you will start feeling angry and you will start feeling jealous. So be mindful of that when working with certain hot spirits. If you decide to do some work with Pompajira, make sure you wear all white. This is why you see a lot of people on pictures in, in voodoo, practicing voodoo, they wear a lot of white, they wrap their hair in white. And the reason why they wrap their hair in white is because if you have black hair, you want to radiate energy out, not, uh, not suck energy into your head. And that's why a lot of people, a lot of women wrap their hair up with white. If you're a man, of course, we don't expect you to do that. But if you are a woman, then um, go ahead and wrap your hair up. So if you don't, you will tend to find yourself getting very agitated and feeling the type of way because you're soaking up her energy. And you could take a white bath as soon as you give her offers. You're going to take a white bath. What that means is you're going to bathe in certain things that, that's associated with the spirit Obatala. Obatala is a, is one of the Orishas of peace. So what you would do, what I did is I took a bath with um, some essential oils and I took a bath with the water from rice. What you do is you take just some, some, some raw rice, it doesn't have to be cooked, and some, run some water and then let the water kind of turn white and then you would pour some of that, that white from the water into your bath water and, um, and that way you will kind of clean your aura and if and I'm going to make another video on the Orisha Obatala so you could have more information on him as well so because if you work with hot spirits you want to make sure you work with a spirit that's going to bring you a lot of peace and harmony and calmness as well so you're not getting engulfed by this other energy so when I work with Pompajira I always work with Obatala as well I always make sure I summon his energy first and I wear all white and um, light him a candle to keep and play music for him as well before I work with Pampa Jira and then in a future video I'll make some information I'll share some information on how to work with Obatala as well so I'm um, just as to say warning I just I just feel like a lot of people you know google a lot of things online and share a lot of stuff online in regards to a lot of these lower type spirits and I feel like the warnings about Pampa Jira is not out there is not enough so I just wanted to make this video because I, I'm not going to tell you exactly this practice I'm doing in, in front of you in this video. And the reason why I'm not is because a lot of her information is very secretive. If you were to Google a lot of pictures of Pompajira, you're going to notice she's holding the hush sign, which is a one finger in front of her mouth. And the reason why she's associated with that image is because a lot of her um, work is very secretive. So you see the image in front of you. This this work I have been doing for the last six days. I cannot tell you exactly why or how I do it because she specifically says she wants this information to be secret. So I cannot share that with you. But I did give you some basics things that she does like and the numbers and the colors that she's associated with. So I did say she's associated with red and black. Therefore, when you make an altar, she would like those colors. I have this scarf on my table because she specifically asked for it because I think she likes it because it's silk. She's very bougie and she likes that kind of stuff. 
And um, that's kind of, I didn't have so many, very many options that were red and black for her that she was really feeling. And that's, so um, personally, if you do one, you should be doing red and black. The only reason why I have this scar scarf on the table, as you see in front of you, is just because it's silk and that's what she specifically asked me for. So if you notice when you when you speak and you work with spirits, they're going to ask you for certain things and sometimes it won't be very straight by the book. That's because they're spirits and they have their own personality and needs and wants and how they work with people. It can be usually the same but slightly a little different. It just depends on what you're requesting and the energy of that specific spirit that you were calling. So there are different versions of Pompagira. This one that I have right in front of you, I can see if you can see her head. I made a doll for her right behind the wine glass. I cannot give you her name and the reason why I'm not is because she is private. But you can basically find this information online. There's different verses, versions of Pompagira. They all typically have Pompagira energy, but they all also have their, their little quirk. Their little quirks or their little personality traits that makes them a little bit different. So um, just be mindful of that. Um, if you want something a little more specific and you want to call, call in the spirit, it's always also very good to know which specific one you're calling. That way you can know what to expect more in regards to her path personality and how she's going to communicate and what she wants and what she doesn't want and, and whatnot and stuff like that. But um, thank you for tuning in. I know this makes a lot of people uncomfortable because some of this stuff kind of scares people. But I just want to let you know that a lot of these spirits actually saved a lot of people in the past due to colonialism and and um, and slavery. And the reason why a lot of these spirits have been summoned or created in the first place was because they were using these spirits to protect them from injustice acts. So a lot of um, the stuff that you see, you hear nowadays is calling them demons and they're evil and blah, blah, blah. That was actually um, something that was spread out by the Europeans because they were basically enslaving people, killing people and raping people. And then when these these people they were doing this too decided to summon spirits to protect them they started calling those spirits evil so my question to you is are these spirits evil or are the people that were attacking our people back in the day the ones that were evil and if they weren't doing the things they were doing in the first place we wouldn't have to summon these spirits in the first place so another reason why i'm sharing this video right now as well is because we're going to we are going through a revolution at this time and this spirit specifically pompajira she is a revolutionary spirit she is here to protect us like many others please when you google her you're going to notice a lot of other lower spirits please do not play with mm -hmm. Not treat these spirits as if they belong to you. These spirits are just like you. They do not belong to you. They are not property. And you cannot boss them around, which means you cannot be like, you need to go do this if I give you this. Yeah, she will fuck you up for that. And any of the other Loa spirits will do the same thing. Or a lot of the Orishas that are a little more tempered will do the same thing. So something that I noticed, some people who first start entering these kind of practices they get a little egotistical and they think oh well now i have power and i can just do whatever you want do not go after people for vengeance and the reason why you don't want to is because these spirits are not stupid and they can see your souls and they know if you're doing things to hurt people on purpose they will come back and bite you in the ass as well so please remember you cannot lie to these spirits you cannot fool them on your intentions they know they're not stupid and you got to play by the rules when it comes to working with these spirits. When I say rules, I mean you can't say, I don't want people to rob me, and then you go rob somebody. And then think that Pompadour is going to just go hurt people who rob you and think she's just not going to hurt you. See, this, we can't think like that. If you are not being a good person and you asked Pompadour for protection in regards to something specific and then you go and do it, she will go after you as well. So make sure that you are a good person and if you work with these spirits, you're doing it for good purposes because they will fuck with you as well. So and just make sure that you remember that they're conscious beings and they're not people. So you can lie to people, you cannot lie to lower spirits, you cannot lie to Neturu and you cannot lie to Arisha. So um no matter how much you even try to lie to yourself, they will be able to see past that because I know there's a, just a lot of narcissists will tend to lie to themselves. Well, as long as I lie to myself, then I can lie to them. No, it doesn't work that way. So please be mindful of your intentions of why you would feel like you need to summon a spirit like this. Make sure it's all in good intentions because they will fuck you up if you don't have good intentions, okay? So if you have any of... Um, questions for me, please let me know. I'm sorry, somebody keeps calling me during these videos. I apologize ahead of time. 
But if there's any other spirits you would like me to make a video on, or if there's any questions that you have you would like to talk to me in private in regards to Pompadura, please shoot me a message, but I'm going to let you know now. I cannot give you a whole bunch of information on how to do specific occult magic with her because it's private and she does not want me to share that information. I can only give you basic information that you could pretty much find online anyways. But um, I hope everyone's having a safe day. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel at Mind of Row. I will share my links on this post. I also do TikTok and I'm also on Instagram, which is also at Mind of Row. So please follow me, chat with me, watch me, whatever. Well, have a good day, everybody. Peace.